Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the power of Team UI. So this is kind of a theory or an ongoing question. How much UI is too much UI? And we have the purple Legends Limited Zenkai UI Goku with his latest equip. We have the red Master Ultra Instinct Goku. And we have the yellow Ultra Instinct Goku. Now Let's see just how good a team full of the UI mechanic will be. Now just remember the red Master Ultra Instinct Goku does have an augmented variant of the mechanic. So he essentially uh, has an automated counter against Blast and Strike Arts as long as he's slide moving or just standing still. The other two have uh, just the standard UI mechanic which is they will evade the attack. I have a yellow UI Goku has obviously a augmented version uh, of that as well in that he also prevents follow-up combos so he won't allow players to perform strike follow-up combos he also doesn't allow players to throw in or swap uh, swap or cover change units which is really powerful and then he also of course uh, you know has the ability to draw the copy impacts now red Ma master the ultra instant goku he auto wins the kabi impacts which is also useful but uh yeah to cut a long story short it's really this purple uh, goku is probably the one with the most basic variant of the ui mechanic now the ui gokus uh, are pretty good uh, obviously you yeah, know there's room for improvements on uh, quite a few of them uh, and I wouldn't suggest running them all in the same team, we'll talk about that now now. But the big thing with them as a unit, uh, or them as units, is there can be um, a little bit of this feeling of uh, overwhelming uh, kind of uh, you know, annoyance, basically. Like if you look at them all as a unit, it can be a little bit, it causes... So the big thing with the UI gameplay before I kind of break that down. The big thing with the UI gameplay is how much it puts the opposition on the defensive foot uh, or passive foot, I want to say. It's not that the opponent doesn't want to attack. It's that if they don't have a green or a special, they can't actually attack you. Um, that's really the issue that they run in. When you have a green or a special, then of course you can kind of combo into it or you know, if you manage to get an opening, you can use it. But aside from that, you essentially have to wait for your opponent to make the first move to be able to get off your key blast and your strike hearts. Now, again, this isn't uh, super duper broken, and the whole team of UI Gokus honestly isn't that great. And people will say, why? The thing with team and like team building in Legends is when you have three units, especially like this, you don't give the opposition like variation. Like, uh, I'll give you a great example. If I had a revive unit, this is a unit I could put in the way of cover change, right? Like, uh, I could throw them in the way of cover change, I could throw them in the way of rising rush uh, as they're gonna, you know, take damage, but they are ultimately going to revive. With the UI Goku team, unless you have the green Legends of UI Goku, uh, you don't have that kind of utility. Yeah, at the same time, the UI mechanic is really, really cool, but it has its limitations. It doesn't prevent comboing outside of Yellow Ultra Instinct Goku. And essentially, you don't have, you yourself have to play a passive gameplay as well, to a certain extent, because you're waiting for your opponent to use up a card or to break a combo by attacking you. The best way to use the UI Goku mechanic, uh, whether you're using multiple heroes or you're using one, uh, is to use it in an offensive manner. So it's to get up really close with the opposition, create opportunities where they're kind of feeling pressured to attack you, and using those windows to force them to make a mistake in terms of hitting up their combo. That's really where you're gonna see and feel the effects of them uh, as units. You know, where you're gonna feel like, wow, this is where they're most effective. Now having a whole team of that, especially now where it's at such disparaging levels, isn't necessarily the number one call. 
uh, to be honest with you, it's not really the biggest and best display to do. Because ultimately the issue that you'll run in uh, as a player is that you're going to make these calls and use these units. But you are going to eventually have the issue uh, whereby they don't provide any other utility. No revive. Uh, they mainly have melee focus cover changes except for the red UI Goku. Uh, they don't have any kind of absorption or nullification ability. And they don't provide support. They don't give you a lot of healing outside of what base healing they have in their kits. They don't give you a lot of bat and pass mechanics or anything like that. These are not setup units. These are units that exist to basically be finishers or closers. When you have a whole team worth of finishers and closers, you tend to have a struggle in the start of the fight. But I find overall that generally speaking the team does quite well. Uh, I honestly had a pretty good time using all three of them. I definitely would say it works a lot better at lower levels, so from like 50 to 60, 60 to 65 in terms of rank, uh, more so uh, than running them at like the, uh, you know, like um, running them in like the higher battle ranks, at least all three. I feel like Green Legends Limited Goku is probably a better solution due to his revive mechanic. Uh, I just think that he tends to have a pretty good time. But yeah, uh, I do think there is uh, definitely a feeling of, yeah, like uh, that using all three isn't as effective uh, a team build as I would like, uh, at least from my side. Personally, it was a lot of fun using them. Uh, they actually still do a lot better than I thought they would. But uh, in large part, it's generally due to the opponent making a mistake against their mechanic, which I guess is the point. But, you know, they lack a little bit. Like, even Red, you know, MUI Goku, he's feeling a little bit light on damage. I feel like only the yellow Ultra Goku is really the one that's kind of carrying his weight uh, in terms of damage output and everything. But I do feel like, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, they are still really good units. Uh, I do really still enjoy playing them and using them. So yeah, I think they can still do a good job. I just think that you do have to, you know, almost kind of like accept um, that maybe running all three isn't so effective. At least ultimately that's what I think. But yeah, I had a pretty good time using them. Uh, I had a pretty solid uh, kind of run with them. I enjoy running this team, it's just not necessarily one I would suggest players use if they're not fully macked up on the mechanics. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to get a forfeit here, and we'll end on that note. But that's going to be it from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, let me know what you think about the full UI team, and what you think of the UI mechanic in general. Bye!